Good morning, guys. It is currently... Oh, let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Just after 6 a.m., I am going to be running late here for the dentist, so... It is time to get going. Oh, so let's talk about what I'm going to the dentist for. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, just a, uh, uh, I guess, uh, yearly or bi-yearly, whatever, uh, tooth cleaning. I'm actually getting sick, and uh, I talked about that in my last fishing video, how I might be getting sick. It turns out I'm getting sick. So, uh, I don't know if it's something with my sinuses or what's up, but Let's check the weather yesterday night and this morning and it's uh, the pattern is still supposedly good for today um, fishing between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. is supposed to be pretty well if my predictions right uh, fishing is gonna be pretty hot so uh, myself and my brother are planning on going out to a lake we haven't fished in a few years so I'll get back to you guys in in a little while, uh, probably once we get back from the dentist or once I get out of the dentist. I just don't uh, have too much else to talk about today, but uh, sick, cold frog coming in, uh, fishing conditions are supposed to, are generally really good right before a uh, storm comes through, so I'll let you guys know. All right, so I'm back from the dentist. Woke up from a nap, hair looks like crap. But the weather is looking good, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be going fishing. And I'm gonna be fishing in a lake that that I haven't fished in God years. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, gonna get lucky. So me and my brother are gonna go down to a uh, local lake and uh, see if we can nail us some fish. I'm hoping to get some uh, largies today. I've been looking at the weather. Things are looking a little bit dicey. Hmm. Yeah, the forecast for the barometric pressure keeps changing. So. All right, yeah, the barometric pressure is looking um, uh, very favorable to catch some fish, so I'm going to go ahead and pack it up, and uh, we'll see you guys out on the lake. What? Dude, yeah, bring that up here. Let's get that on film. All right, all right. So basically what happened is my brother just schooled me while I get tied up onto a Friggin' power line, he catches a freaking a nice bass. I threw it out there all really slow. I got it right next to the shore and I let, I let it sit there. I literally looked at it and he grabbed it right next to the shore. He's big, but he's skinny. Yeah. So there. Hold that up in front of the camera. Good, good size. Look at that. Not, not a bad little chunk. Yeah. Not bad, what, like 18? 18 inches? Not particularly fat, but yeah, get him back in the water. Shit. Yeah. Nice fish, dude. There we go, fish on! Oh no, fish off! No, fish off! Oh man, bummer. Nah, he's off. Fish on! No! Fish off! Damn it! There we go! That's a fish on! Okay. He's caught up in the weeds. But that is a fish on. Oh man, it feels big too. No fish plus weeds. So I'm saying, you know, you can get me my waders.
All right, just be careful, man. Is it? All right, just be careful. Dude, it's not coming. It's like way stuck. How bad is it? All right. All right, I'm going to probably break something trying this then. All right, here we go. Oh, man, that feels like it's cutting my finger. Don't grab the line straight up. Not when I'm pulling it this hard. Seemed like it. Oh, it's free. It's free. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't know if the fish is still on the end of it, but we're going to find out. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of salad. Is the fish still on there? No, the fish is not still on there. Jeez. It's like really fucking deep and muddy in there. As soon as I broke it free, I think the fish got away. Oh my god, that's a lot of salad. Oh, that's why it got stuck. When the bass hit it, the hooks flipped upside down. There we go, that's a fish on. Yep, that's a fish for sure. Get out of those weeds. Are you kidding me, he dumped it? Come on. Oh my gosh. This is gonna turn into a topwater fail episode, man. Okay, do I finally got a fish? Oh, oh, you. Well, I mean, it's not a bad pike, but it's a freaking. It's a pike. Nailed my topwater frog. I mean, that's a decent pike. Topwater frogging. Nail a pike. Yeah, you got some good teeth in there, pal. You got some good teeth. Yeah, check that check that pike out. Let's see if I can get him in camera. Freaking 100% legal catch. Got him right in the mouth. Maybe that's what's been hitting my frog is. Not bass, but pike. Just a freaking skinny snake, too. Let's see. All right, now you should be able to see that frog in his mouth. Now that we got the frog off... I'm going to keep the players with me just in case. All right. Now let's get the release. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. There you go. And there he goes. I don't know. Maybe. Friggin' pike, man. All right, better check my knot because that was a pike. My spro frog has seen better days, for sure. It's seen better days, but it's still serviceable. So we'll get it back out there. We do a quick line check. Line's still good. Knot still looks good. had another hit on the frog. Well, another pike.
Just took my frog. Man, this has been a top water fill if I've ever seen it. There we go. That's a fish on. I'm pretty sure at least. Yep, that's a fish. Another pike, man. Well, today's bass fishing video sure decided it didn't want to be full of bass. All right, let's get this pike off. There we go. All right. I mean, it's not a bad pike though. Pretty decent size. Caught a pike on the jig and on the topwater frog. I guess pike just like blowing up on bass baits in this lake. All right, so let's do a quick recap of what's been going on so far. Uh, basically, it's been uh, what I assume to be pike heaven. The very first fish that I hooked up with on the day was a bass, and um, uh, that one ended up spitting out the hook, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But my brother did catch a bass right away, so at least the day isn't bass-free. I've had tons of topwater blow-ups, and uh, I lost my spro frog to probably a northern pike, uh, if I'm being honest, it was probably a pike. And just uh, caught another pike on a bass jig using a KVD rodent. I was using a watermelon colored jig and a watermelon colored rodent. Um, and I'm thinking that today is pretty much a fail. I mean, we caught some fish, but topwater pike? I think that's a first for me. And bass jig pike is certainly a first for me. I don't think I've ever seen, at least in my lifetime, I don't think I've seen a northern pike hit both a topwater frog and a bass jig. Not only in the same day, but at all. I've never once seen that happen while I was out fishing. So pretty neat experience. A little bit bummed about not getting some bass, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode thus far. Um, I'm just getting ready. I'm just sitting here taking a quick break, resting my leg, getting some water because it's a little bit hot out. And uh, if I get some more footage of uh, catching fish, I'll add it on after this. And if not, I will see you guys back at the house. All right, so it's that part of the show where we talk about the baits that I was using and how I was using them. So we'll start off with the topwater frog. Um, obviously, I don't have the frog. If you watched all the way through the video, uh, you'll know that that frog was taken. But I was using a very fast, uh, almost continuous hopping cadence and... Obviously, I had a lot of luck uh, getting strikes and landed one fish on the uh, topwater frog, which, I, I don't know, man. Color me surprised. I have never seen northern pike eat topwater bait, and I've never seen them hit a jig with a rodent on it before, let alone in the same day. So, um, all in all, fun day. My brother was the only one to catch a bass. You obviously saw that right in the beginning. He was using a... Uh, pre-assembled worm bait with uh, some weird kind of a nice scent. I don't actually have one of those on hand, but uh, he was just doing some slow twitches and letting it fall, you know, more finesse style stuff. And uh, he got himself that nice little 18 largey. It probably weighed uh, about a pound and a half. It was pretty skinny for the size that it was. And for the second bait, I was throwing this... Um... Let me go ahead and pull this off here. This is a... Green pumpkin? No, watermelon. I can't remember exactly what color it is. But I was running a real natural jig. This is a, th I want to say, a three-eighths of an ounce, or maybe even a half ounce. I can't remember exactly, but this is a Strike King Hack Attack jig. And the trailers that I were using was, um, let's get the camera to focus on that maybe, uh, just some watermelon rodents. Um, these are Strike King KVD Perfect Plastics. And uh, that worked. So we got one fish on the topwater frog, one fish on the um, on the uh, the jig. Unfortunately, I was unable 
to uh, land the first fish, which I did see was a bass. And uh, for that, I was using a Senko, just wacky rigged, real slow, just hop retrieve. I mean, you guys are pretty familiar with wacky rig and, and Senkos by now, if you're watching more popular YouTubers like uh, Lunkers TV. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, uh, please consider leaving it a like. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to keep your bait wet. You're going to catch fish. God bless everybody.